My name is Rob PK. I'm working here at the Moving Picture Company in the research and development team. My job in the research and development team at the Moving Picture Company is primarily to focus on the effects development. In particular, my team is responsible for developing tools for artists. They can achieve simulation of both natural and supernatural effects, such as water or particles, smoke, fire, the like. Natural visual effects are very much uh, invisible to the audience goer. They represent nature the way that it physically exists around us. On the other hand, supernatural effects are much more storytelling devices. If we look at the Harry Potter franchise, for example, they exist in a magical realm where physics really don't play any role whatsoever. For me, my day usually starts with catching up on industry news. I usually set aside about half an hour to an hour to catch up with online forums, uh, and there I'm both an avid participant as reader and contributor. Uh, when you work at a company for long enough, you become a little bit blinded by the way that this particular company operates. And what you really need is that fresh perspective of what's going on in other parts of the world. If you want to maintain a competitive edge, you need to know what your competitor is doing. I usually spend about one third of the day developing new source code and about two thirds of the day coordinating my team's activities. My team primarily provides technology for the effects team. These are our clients, and it is our responsibility to keep up to date with what they are going to need to get their films done. After we bid on a project, I return and discuss with my other effects developers about the technologies that we decided we are going to need to develop to get the show done. And at that point, it's essentially collaborating and figuring out, based on our skill set, how long will it take to get the technology done. The creative team really benefits from R&D in that we give them tools that they simply cannot buy and cannot find anywhere else. We win projects, film projects, because the moving picture company can generate these visual effects that no other studio in the world can. And a lot of that is because of the technology that the artists have. And they really recognize R&D as being sort of their saviors. So they see us as being the innovative team and the problem solving team. And they feel confident that we will deliver them the solution they need. I think that one of the very interesting areas in effects right now is large-scale destruction. There are a lot of films coming out right now where buildings or potentially whole cities are getting ripped to shreds. And whereas in past the camera may have been very far away from this type of effect, increasingly the directors really want this to be an integral part of their story. And they're pulling the camera right into the action, where you can see every small little detail. And this poses a tremendous computational challenge figuring out how objects should break, what the debris should look like, how it should move, how it should be textured. And this is one of the things that we've been looking at quite heavily over the last two or three years in R&D. I was born and raised in Canada and studied at the University of Waterloo, studying computer engineering, a very technical field. The Moving Picture Company was hiring staff to do the Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian, and in my mind this was a perfect fit for my career aspirations. I've been here kind of leading the effects development, looking at software management, and just generally helping the company improve its technology to handle big Hollywood blockbusters. In my spare time, I quite enjoy playing a game of squash, and currently I'm also part of the Moving Picture Company's Softball League. We play about every week in an advertising league of companies around London, and unfortunately we're not participating very well, but uh, it's great fun for all involved. So.